right guys so next up is tesla or ticker symbol tsla i'm on the daily interval this allows us to find our support and resistance lines our entries our exits our targets and all that good stuff okay this is why we always apply multiple time frame analysis all right so pre-market we're down almost one percent for the morning let me check the volume uh, we're at 52,000, way below the 150,000 that we'd like to see. Uh, but like I said, it's still early. It's only 8:10 this morning. The market doesn't open for another hour and a half. Uh, so this, let me go through the resistance and support lines real quick, and then I'll dive into where we're at. So this top line represents our major resistance line, and that can be tested if we zoom in. You can see that all these candlesticks have been either uh, rejected or reacted in this area. You can see starting with this one over here, came up, rejected here, came back up, rejected again, and then ultimately the last time it failed and pushed us all the way down to our major support line. And this can be tested as well. We look left, we see that we bounced off of this level. Underneath, we uh, were working as resistance. We see we are it's tested here and here. Back on top, on the support side, you see we bounced here and here. And then this line represents our minor resistance. You can see our top that's underneath here, here, uh, and this candlestick over here. And then you can see we were bouncing on the opposite. Well, what works as resistance will work as support on the opposite side. You can see that we were bouncing and chopping around over here. And this leads us to where we're at right now. So let me go ahead and uh, zoom in. So you can see that we broke below this uh, minor support line and, and worked as resistance. You can see once we broke below that, we tried to come back up into this resistance area, but since it was tested, you have to respect these lines, you guys. This is exactly why this had trouble breaking past this area. Ultimately, it did it and it failed and it's continuing its downward trend. Okay, so as we can see, we are in this downward trend. We're below this minor resistance line. So we have to respect this top right here at the 701, you guys, or the $700 level. We have this wall, all right? And we're below this trend line uh, showing that we're in this clear downtrend. So what we want to see you guys is for this to break above this $700 level to come up and come back down and retest it as a floor. And then at that point, the $700 level could be a great ideal entry. Um, and that's if we start reversing here. Let me go on to the one hour chart and see these candlesticks a little bit more in depth. Um, let me zoom out a little bit more. All right. So we're starting to try to build a little bit of another uh, minor support right here on the one hour chart. Um, but if will it hold? I'm not 100% clear on that. Uh, let me go back to the daily. So either way, if, if even if you were trying to get in right now, it wouldn't be the smartest idea because let's just say if you did get in here at the $667 level and uh, it starts to reversing, it's only going to reverse all the way up back to the $700 level at, before it tests that area. So it could come all the way up here and, uh, you know, starting to create this upward trend and then get rejected at this resistance right here and then pushes back down to our major support line. So we want to further, we want further confirmation that we, we are in an uptrend and that buyers are in charge. And that would be past the $700 level. If we can come up, like I said, and come back down and retest that as a support level, that could be a good ideal entry. It would show us that buyers are stepping up. It would further confirm that we're in an upward trend. And by that time, we should be above this uh, the specific trend line, okay? And even on the RSI, it does show like it does show that we're we're trying to reverse, but we are still in that clear downward trend. Okay. So the second ideal um, entry would be is if we did come up here and get rejected and pulled back down here, or if we just continue this downward trend straight back down to the support line. The $600 level, you guys, could be a great ideal entry. Have your stop loss maybe underneath these candlesticks over here at the 588. Um, and then you could ride that back up to the previous highest point at the $700 level or back down to the 649. That all depends on the type of trader you are. Uh, if you're a day trader, swing trader, or scalp trader, these uh, entries and uh, stop losses are going to be different for everybody. But like I say, the main rule or the main goal should be three to one. So whatever you're risking, it should be... Uh, your profit or target should be three times that, okay? Uh, at least, at, at bare minimum. Um, if you want to stay ahead of the game, of course. So um, I really hope this video helped you guys. So my point for this specific video is just to wait for that clear ideal entry um, and wait for us to either create, uh, start creating a reversal or if we can break above the $700 level, okay? Uh, but getting it as, as of right now would be really, really aggressive. 
Um, if you guys enjoy the content that I create, uh, create every single morning, Monday through Friday, please hit that like and subscribe button. It allows me to uh, do this for you guys. Um, in other words, uh, it allows me to get, uh, get up early and break down these charts and, uh, you know, do it for free for basically for you guys. So, and I love what I do. Don't get me wrong. I love what I do. Um, uh, but it, it really helps me out. So, uh, stay tuned for the other videos that I post this morning. Up next, I think I'm doing Neo and then Tesla, Naked and Zom. Okay. Uh, but you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading.